Hi, it's Bethany. Welcome to today's video. Today is my favorite time of the month because I get to wrap up one month and start a new one. Today, I'm going to show you how February went and then also set up for March. Today's actually the very, very last day of February when I'm filming this. And so hopefully I'll have all the pieces I need for both parts of this process. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing I like to do in these videos is I like to start by looking at the front of the book and just kind of see how things are going. So this is my goals page and so far I think this is doing okay. Some areas are definitely going better than others. For example, um, work is going well, the decluttering has been going well, I did get some more things to clutter there in the bedroom. YouTube and uh, Instagram is actually not doing so awesome so I'm really excited to improve that in future months and hopefully even get more content out. I will say that I am getting better about consistency. So I've been consistently posting on Mondays. That's something that I will continue to do. And I'm working on adding in Thursdays as well so that every Thursday and every Monday we'll have videos up. Over here for fitness, I would say that these things are going pretty well. So I've definitely improved my snatch, definitely improved my clean and jerk, my Olympic lifts. I have been continuing my been continuing, my goodness, my Peloton streak. And then also I've also been continuing the 1300 meeps per month. And so far that's been going great. So, so far this piece of fitness is going well. Nutrition is doing okay. So I have been tracking Weight Watchers most weeks. That is still a thing that's been happening. Um, H2O most days that has been happening as well. I'm just not going to check them off until I'm done with the whole book. But then here the actual weight loss hasn't been great. And that's mostly because I haven't been really sticking to my Weight Watchers points. I've been kind of hanging in there and maintaining, which is totally fine. Uh, but being over on points is definitely impacting that. So you know, it's, it's life. Things need to improve some areas. Some areas are going well, like I said, better than others. So yeah, that's pretty much how the goals are going. I'd say they're going okay. And I'm pretty happy with that. I did have a couple of milestones this month as well. So I did get a new deadlift PR. I'm um, at an estimated 240 pounds. So that was when I, what I lifted was 225 and I did two reps. And so my estimated one rep max is 240 on that. And then for my snatch PR, I got a one rep max of one, of not 165, my God, that would be crazy. Uh, 65 pounds for my snatch. So I'm pretty happy with both of those. Flipping through, uh, we don't need to talk about January that is over. I do just want to reference kind of how I did this. So I do want to do something similar when I total up all my minutes for February. But then moving on into February, here is how the actual month wrapped up. As far as minutes, I did not hit my goal, which was to get 1000 exercise minutes. So I'm going to go for it again in March. March has a few extra days, so that will definitely help. And also hopefully I can be more on top of it, but things have just been either really busy with work or last week we were really busy with buying a new car. So life just happens and that kind of takes away from other things like working out. But hopefully, like I said, moving forward, that will improve as life just kind of ebbs and flows. So what I do on this page is I like to track my Weight Watchers points with the red dot here. The purple has been for lifting. And so I write in my lifting or strength minutes and then this pink has been for cardio, tracking cardio minutes, and then the bottom one is my actual body weight. And so my body weight actually started at 154.4 and I ended at 154.4. So the fact that I really wasn't great with my Weight Watchers points and I still maintained, I'm that's a win for me. That is great because it was kind of a rough month for exercising and staying on track with my points. So here's what I'm doing is I'm starting to estimate my weeklies. And so my weekly points I'm saving in this little or kind of writing in, in this little circle bubble at the end of the week, because you can go over, over in points and still have weeklies that you use. And I do use my weeklies. And so this lets me kind of face the music on how it's actually going at the end of the week, whether or not I hit those weeklies. This was a really, really very, very difficult week for me. Um, there was, I think this was the week where we had like Super Bowl and also we had stuff going on for my husband's birthday. Um, super fun, lots of eating, but that just happened and I'm leveling off from that as well. So I did better, but still didn't hit my weekly. So I'm really looking forward to doing a much better job that next month. All right. Um, unfortunately I don't think I'm going to have time to work out today. I was kind of looking at what I have going on the rest of the day and it's, we have a late game for Chris and I've got to make dinner and do some other stuff. Um, I have actually another video I want to get posted for you guys too. So tonight I'm, I'm just going to call it on exercise minutes. We're going to just wrap February. I'm going to total out my minutes. I'll report back in a minute and I'll let you know how we did. Okay. So what I've noticed is I'm not going to have enough room here to really total things up here. Um, I did the math and the math is not fabulous, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Christian design little labels and just put them on these days I'm not using to put my totals. So I just decided to stagger them a bit and how this washed out is we had lifting at got 445 minutes of lifting 
And then for cardio, that came out to 285 minutes for cardio. And then our total brings us to 7. 30. So actually worse than last month for exercise minutes, but again, room for improvement and I'm absolutely fine with that. All right, so I think that would do it for this page. Let's go ahead and move on to the dashboard. This was just a meal plan, nothing too fancy there. Um, what I want to do is I do like to fill this out with a little memory planning. I put a little photo with a couple things that happened during the month. Down here for my habits, I filled everything out except for the Weight Watchers points and Peloton for today. So once I do those things, I'll check it out. Definitely did not get 12 videos or I don't think I even did nine Instagram posts this month. It was not great for social media, but I do have a photo that I want to use for this area to fill this out. So this is a little picture of Luna and I at his 40th birthday party. That was so much fun just to celebrate with our friends. And I like to use this little gadget to kind of punch just a little bit of a curved edge into it. So it kind of matches the curve here. So all right, so there's my picture and just a couple of memories there. Boone's birthday was a Super fun celebration. And then we also got a new car. I love my car so much. I talk about it and show it in the previous video. So if you're interested, welcome to check that out. I won't uh, talk too much more about it, but I am totally obsessed. I love that car so much. At any rate, let's go ahead and move on into setting up March. All right, so for setting up March, I have these uh, little, I don't know, I guess just month scripts, 009 from Hand Camp Plan. So I, I bought these not really knowing what I was going to use them for, but I do like using them for kind of the monthly setup. So I like to put one there. This is what I did for February anyway. This, I don't have like a huge track record of this book. It's relatively new to me, but I like to put one there. And then I also like to put one here for the meal plan day as well. So that is what I've been doing and that's been working out pretty well. Okay. So the next part is the tedious part of putting in all of those dots. I like to get them all done at once. And the ones I chose is a medley of different greens for St. Patty's Day for March. I think it goes nicely with the green color. So I have a teal, I've got a blue, more of a chartreuse, and then a mint. So hopefully this will look good. It won't be like overwhelmingly too much green, but I think it's gonna be fun. So next I will do a little speed up and we'll get all these dots down. All right, so that does it for March and setting up the monthly view. I think it turned out really nice with kind of the different blues and greens and I'm enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, Mochi decided to pop in for a visit. So if you're hearing squeaking, um, that is that is her. <laughs> she definitely wants attention. So let me see how much of this I can get done before I need to take a little break. There's only one page left, really. I'm just gonna literally write the word meal plan on this because that's all this page is. And then I'll write out little, little days and stuff later. I think that that gives me enough of a start on that. And then over here, I have a sticker from Planner Kate that I want to use for my habits down below. First though, I want to take the sticker and I want to remember how exactly I wrote down all of my habits from February because that has been working out so well for me. And so I'm literally just going to copy down the list. So the first one is WW for personal points, then Peloton, 
something from the app, even if it's just a five minute meditation, um, it's not always workout and that is okay. It's still keeping me on track and I'm enjoying it. H2O, so make sure I get my 90-ish ounces of water and then vitamins. I'll just suck this down here. All right, so that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is leave this part open for my photo for next time. So we're gonna leave that there open for a photo. And then these are going to be keep in touch and then any kind of random monthly goals that I have. Okay, so here is this page and I, I think this is great. I'm not gonna add too much more to it, mostly because I've been in the office today and uh, Mochi definitely wants to play and hang out. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of call it here, I think. That was um, really fun setting up everything for March and then also doing a little recap and wrapping up of February. So thank you so much for joining, especially if you're here all the way till the end. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your week, and we will chat soon. Bye guys!